Yo guys, it's your boy the Demon Briggs coming at you with the uh, Caustic Player Review. Um, I kind of want to go through all the characters. I want to do like a little mini series where we cover everybody in this and we kind of just go through base tactics. I'm hoping I get you some good footage as well at the same time, but I'm predominantly in this going to be focusing on talking you guys through where to go, what you can do. Um, Kind of like just the, the basics, if you will, and then maybe a few tactics that you didn't think of, a few mistakes you might be making with him, or maybe it's the first time you're picking him up and you just want to see what the guy can do. Um, now I'm pretty average. Uh, I, I'm, I'm level 211, maybe just slightly above. Uh, I play at gold one level. Uh, I'm hoping to improve that, obviously. I'm hoping some of you guys can maybe even fill me on a few tactics you use with caustic and, uh, you know, we could kind of combine to make a super awesome caustic where we were winning like every other game. Um, I'm gonna hope that he drops here. Please, bruh. 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 We're on our own, bruh. Okay, so it's all our own, she's gonna be. Because we're a bit far out. Uh, still gonna try to get it. Now, what you want to look when you're straight uh, dropping off, uh, I'd like to go for a building anyway with Caustic, so you've got a couple of guys coming in as well. I pick a loop path, so I'll go from here, building up, building down, building round, so we get like a, a, f a f four buildings worth of loot. And so this, I, I know this is the uh, Deja Vu mode, but uh, same same applies kind of regardless. I, I'm, I'm not up to date with where all weapons are at the moment. I've been playing a lot of ranked, like I say. Um, but yeah, so weapon of choice, close range ideally with one medium, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a hemlock, a hemlock, I, I do like the hemlock, single fire on the hemlock or a G7, uh, definitely back it with a carbine or an R99 though, uh, depending on your preference, I know some some of the guys to this are going to be saying, oh definitely R99, uh, and I, I do have a soft spot for that gun, but we're going to... I think in this one we're going to be running the uh, the carbine on this one, sorry. Um, yeah, so uh, one thing to remember is when you land, you get free barrel straight away. And when you're playing barrel placement, a lot of people I see play just go bam and chuck it right at the door. Now what that does is if someone comes from the other side and sets that off, it will go off before they even open the door and then they'll just wait outside or go the other door. because you know, it, they'll just wait for it to disappear. If you put it here though, when they come round, they're gonna open the door, the door's gonna, so from, from their point of view, they're gonna come this way, open it, it's gonna go off, catch them. And that's all you want. Um, make sure you're putting them down early, try to remember that you've got them at all points. Aggressive-wise, because they could never really uh, recommend it. Uh, obviously, you, you sh if you're gonna push uh, harsh, you, you need, to have somebody with you that's going to go back that way. Looks like we could be looking for right here. Bit of damage. I put, I'd, I know I'd usually go long range, but that, with that being gold. Where's this son of a bitch? Nice to play, boys. Didn't even have to do anything. Okay. So it looks like I've got a decent team for in this, which is beautiful. Um, I don't think he was happy that I took his barrel, but I'm sorry, bro. I, I'd apologize. Or do I? I don't care for the purpose of the video. Standard stock here. Level two. I'll let him have the stock because my man obviously I did Robin blind a bit there. Hopefully. Alright, not fair enough. You don't want to come for it. I'm gonna take that shit. Um boom. So yeah, usually I I wouldn't pack a sentinel. I don't, I wouldn't advise you bring a sentinel in with caustic unless you're going to get like a four tier building where you've got a lot of distance uh you can cover a lot of ground with you know from a very high point um 
but if it's gold, it kind of it'd be rude to say no, really. Um, wow, so many people died here. Um, so I'm all blued up. At a point at this way, I'm all blued up. I mean, an anvil would be definitely a blessing, but. I'm not really focusing on loot too much at this point. I, I, at this point, what, what I'd be doing is pulling up my map. We have a look in the middle of the circle. So we're looking at a finish around here, possibly at the tree, I would imagine. I've not played today's event, so I'm not really sure exactly. But I'd look at the mountains and say that could kind of pinces the final ring has to be around here because it's not going to finish on top of a mountain. Um, I'm, I'm not, not that I've ever noticed it ever has anyway. So um, yeah, try and try and aim for something in the middle of that early as possible. Now we're at the other side of the map, so it looks like we could be taking a while to get through. Um, I think I'm going to have to go for the tunnels. But yeah, look, uh, there potentially could be stuff in these buildings. I'm not too fussed, I've, I've got a good loadout, I don't want to get caught by the ring, don't want to be in that situation where I'm running from the ring, I've got no real defence. The one thing that I use personally, which I don't know if all you guys know about, is if I was in a situation where I was getting shot, I would chuck a barrel like this, hide behind it, put one round in, and now I'm invisible. So, it, you know, no one's going to know. Yeah, it might be a bit closer of why the gas got off, but if you've, if you've been running from an enemy, you do that, it's going to definitely create a bit of space. Um, I also do use the super if I'm in a situation where I want to revive a teammate. Somebody goes down, I chuck my gas at them, um, immediately try and get to them to provide some sort of cover. Um, I think it's we're going to have to... We should conduct a search right here. We'll go through the, the old train yard. Uh, cut through, go straight through caves, straight in. So, this is probably going to get busy at train yard right now. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that's what I like to keep on me in terms of ammo. If I get three boxes or each is ideal. Obviously, you need a good backpack to run that. Health kits wise, I'm, I do like to keep a couple small shield cells on me, but the batteries seem to be better. I, I know people will argue having some small shield cells will help if you're just getting clipped. But I feel like if I'm going to get into a fight, especially as caustic, I'm usually in a defensive position or that's where I'll try to put myself at least. Um, where I, I can't... Wow, help. this guy is unreal. Thank you, bro. Maybe I should be taking tips off this guy. I wish I had his footage. Oh, blue Evo shield. Uh, that, that we can't say now to. Oh, kicking off big time. That's one down and he should get finished. See, I'm not going to try and put myself in a position where the ring... Kind of regardless of where these guys are. Put that there so if anyone runs past they don't see that and that catches them. I'd rather have it where I can turn round on them and uh, them be coming out of the ring and me hitting them as they're still getting hit by the ring. That's double damage advantage. You kind of have to do that. You've got, if you want any hope of... Uh, it's like right now, if someone's running through that cave, I, I pretty much got them. There's not, there's not much that they can turn around and do to me in this situation. Um... This guy's getting hurt. Double tap. As you can tell, probably I've not played too much of today's event, so I'm not sure exactly where everything is. Um, but yeah, I usually would get into a building. That if you're playing with a stack team of three, I, I usually play with a few guys uh, pretty much continuously. We'll build around Caustic usually because he's the main kind of defense. Uh, best three that we've played with, that we've kind of enjoyed and had the best of all, is having a Gibraltar, Caustic and Watson. Super defensive, um, but you do get that kind of aggressive, or at least an aggressive defense style with Gibraltar to back them away, uh, while Caustic can recharge uh, barrels and kind of throw them again and get back into the fight with them. Um, so you kind of 
if you see what I mean with that, you kind of you you build your time to get them three barrels back once you've used them. Uh, we'll go across up this area. You see how I got each corner of the door, so if the door's open, they won't necessarily see the barrel straight away. You can't always stop it. Some guys expect it. But if, if they don't see us and they're just running up to this area, they, they're not going to expect that uh, someone sat here with the uh, gas has already put up. Always remember to use them best you can, but do be wary if you're approaching the final ring that you're not using too many, just so you've got them in case things kick off. Um, again, making sure we've got three boxes of ammo. I feel like any more than the three boxes of ammo, by the way, uh, just as a general tip, you're just kind of overflowing it. I don't feel, unless, unless you're going for like 15 kills or something, not necessary at all. Um, you just kind of want to play more slow, more cautious. Uh, I am playing a little aggressive, but I really want to push for that far corner. If we can get here, which I'm hoping this team will back me on this. We, we have full advantage point then. We've got nobody that can come behind us from there. Um, no no way around us or anything like that. Also, I get that high ground advantage. Uh, there's a couple of houses on the far back that I could snipe quite easily from the top of. Our oh, guy's in trouble. We'll try cover you, bro. Just bear with me. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, bro, so bad, bro. So bad. Got top advantage. Ooh, that gas. Ooh, that gas. Oh, that gas, baby. Well, of course, it's that gas. Oh, please don't tell me that you know I got gold. Kind of a cheeky spot to be when you're in there. So, as I was saying to you guys earlier, in a bit of trouble. Chuck a gas. Chuck a gas, give myself a bit of breathing space. Nobody will know that I'm sat in the middle. Kaboom, I managed to get everything back. And we're back in. Ooh, dear. I don't think I'm gonna get chills here. Oh dear. This could be a game over, but you saw how well effectively his gas worked in that last corner. Uh, I even have gas here that if I went down, you know, to try and catch somebody if he's running up the side of me, around the back. Um, but yeah, genuinely, I'd recommend an R99, a Peacekeeper. Obviously, if you see gold, you can't say no. Kind of situation we fell in today. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know if there's anything that you feel like I missed, anything with Caustic that you would feel like. Uh, I maybe thought you something that you didn't feel like you'd ever tried or wanted to try or even thought that that was a possibility. Um, obviously, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but you can room trap if you stand above doors. You can chuck a bit of gas down, I'll try and get some footage for you on that, maybe in a game when I get my stacked team together. Uh, but yeah, just kind of a general welcome video to my new Apex run that we're going to be doing. Uh, we'll try and see how the rest of this game plays out, because this guy's been pretty awesome for us so far. Um, I'll, I'll give him credit to do if we can get some footage through him. I uh, will send him a message saying thank you at the end of this. Um, but yeah guys, uh, I don't know as well if you want me to do maybe uh, uh, your favourite player next, if you want to comment below who you think I should review next, uh, maybe you want a certain type of footage or you prefer it to be done a different type of way, um, definitely let me know, open to it, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff guys you probably know that I don't even know, 
Come on, bro. Please just get me. Please get me, bro. We got to five, bro. Five, bro. Four. Yes. My G. We could still be alive, guys. I felt like we were going to close the vid, but it looks like we're still good and cooking. If we can get a win here, it'd be awesome as well, especially just coming on like, yeah, let's do a review. Uh, but yeah, uh, if, if you do, uh, if you know, maybe Gibraltar's your guy or something, we could do a Gibraltar next. Uh, I know loads of guys love Octane, so I haven't really used Octane too much. Maybe need a few pointers on what you think guys think I should try in terms of tactics there. Um, Pathfinder, I'd say, is probably my second decent guy, so um, if all fails and it's pretty close, probably do a Pathfinder. Um, but yeah, o open to it, guys. Uh, I don't know if this guy can even get us back in. No, he can't. So he's doing what I would do in this situation. Kind of staying low, get out of the way. Try look. Don't don't even need to rush for the finish. He's more. This is more survival. You want to get a top five finish every time. Top five. Aim for that. If you feel like you're in a situation where there's a fight on in front of you, but going too aggressive is going to cost you. Don't be afraid to back away. It's not that you, people say it's a pussy thing to do, but. It's a smart thing to do when you're in the last free fight and you're in the winning. Wonderful. Props to this guy. Be huge. Wow, this, this could be a dub. Come on, bro. You got this. You got this, bro. Ain't no worries, bro. Pathfinder as well. Probably getting some tips off this guy already. I'm wanting as well when when it comes to ranked, I feel like you've only got a set team that you should really pick on ranked. Like it's very specific. I don't see many variations of random teams when it gets pretty high up on ranked. So um any kind of tips on teams that you guys feel like we should use? Um, definitely open to that as well. And that's a good position to be in. If I was a bit caustic in this room, you got one at the top of the glass, I would have put just where it's gone downstairs. Uh, maybe one at each side of the doors, try and cover all angles as usual. Phew. Inside the next ring. I love this. Don't. And I did call it as well. Look, we said they had finished near tree. <laughs> kind of go for the core of the ring and try and like gas up around them areas. It's always nice to do. Mastiff. Oh, bro. I would have not said no to that. A Mastiff close range with gas involved. Disgusting. Okay, so it's going down. Got a couple to take on, but yeah, worst, worst case scenario, we get a second finish. Maybe not too much damage, but again, guys, I'll try and put up a footage of some best clips rather yes, than just uh, kind of show you the drawing gameplay, just kind of me talking through what's going on and who, how to use them. Um, I've had a lot of wins with Caustic successfully in the last ring by um, just barrels. Uh, when you've got a ring this small, even if you just start stacking barrels on corners, puts them in a really bad position that eventually they're going to have to press. Unless they've got a caustic themselves, they're not going to be able to do too much. Massive. Boom. Boom. Love it. Bang. I didn't even know I picked up the massive 40 left. Here. I'm lucky. But yeah, um, that's been my thoughts on the caustic. Um, if you guys uh, subscribe, comment, leave some love. Let me know what you want to see next, and I shall see you in about a week or two's time. Peace.